Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fiscal Talk. My name is Theodora. I'm a marketing manager here at Fiscal Solutions, and um, I have a great pleasure to announce my dear colleague, Nicolina Basic, as my guest today. Nicolina, welcome. Hello, Theodora. Hello to all of you. Yes, uh, we are here today and uh, talking about a great subject as it always, so it is my pleasure and I'm really excited for it. Uh, Nicolina, that's great to hear. I am especially excited about it since we're talking about a new country uh, that yeah. will be available on our portal and that is Spain. Um, to everyone who is watching us uh, today, definitely check out the previous episode of Fiscal Talk where we uh, gave, um, let's say, a wider overview of uh, what is currently happening in Spain. We can say that it is not a fiscal country yet, uh, but what will happen um, and uh, what changes uh, can we expect uh, sometimes down the road um, is something you will hear uh, by watching the previous episode. Today, uh, Nicolina will give us more details about what is obligatory at the moment, and that is um, reporting uh, the invoices to the tax authorities. So, Nicolina, please explain us how does that work. Okay, thank you, Theodora. Uh, yes, uh, everything that you say, I confirmed. Um, the main requirements uh, our audience can hear in our previous fiscal talk. But from this perspective, uh, in the terms of sending invoices, in Spain uh, from 2017, we have um, the usage of electronic billing tools. And what that means? That means that taxpayers can electronically send the invoices or receipts to the tax agency or to the tax administration. Uh, what that means, that means that the tax agency in Spain launched a new VAT tax management system, which is called Immediate Supply of VAT Informations or SII. So uh, that is something uh, uh, mandatory there. And uh, that is a program and the place uh, where is a need to send all the invoices generated by the company through the EIT, that is the state administration of the tributary administration, electronic headquarters, or maybe for you to easier to understand, it is the tax authority uh, server. So mm -hmm. um, the, that program uh, introduced a form of supplying the billing records that make up the VAT registration books through the special platform that the tax agency makes available to the taxpayer on its websites. Uh, also, still there are no obligations to use cash register, but mm -hmm. it is convenient uh, for you uh, if you send uh, uh, invoices that you use some programs uh, to make you all of that process easier for you. So even when the use of mm -hmm. cash register is not mandatory in spare, there are good reasons to include electronic data collection devices, especially in retail uh, industry. Absolutely. Uh, Yes, uh, cash register and uh, POS terminals really help, co help companies to generate clearer reports. Uh, usually POS terminals often provide professional RDP system interfaces. Uh, cash register facilitate cooperation between companies and the tax agency, especially when they have a large uh, volumes of data. Uh, what is uh, also uh, mm -hmm. important to uh, mention um, is that uh, that system, uh, immediate information supply system, is designed for a really massive treatment of information and the usage of that web service, web service of the tax authority is the main interaction. Mm -hmm. uh, that is important because the system uh, supports up to 10,000 10, invoices or receipts for each shipment and they have a really fast response and uh, some monthly limit is uh, established by the tax authority and that mm -hmm. uh, all shipment uh, is understood as a continuous sending on invoices uh, and the uh, possibility to get answers synchronously uh, which uh, invoices means that invoices are grouped in the blocks especially 10,000 invoices received per block. Uh, great explanation, Nicolina, and great information. I must admit, uh, I was surprised even when you, even in the previous episode, when you told me that the usage of cash registers is not obligatory, but it makes sense uh, since Spain is not a fiscal country. Uh, please explain me now uh, and to our audience as well, how does the exact procedure of sending invoices look uh, looks like at the moment? Okay. 
So, um, as I already mentioned a little bit, but I will uh, make it more clear now, uh, that shipment is understood as a continuous sending of invoices or receipts that mm -hmm. for performance response and to be able to answer synchronically, they are grouped into the blocks. Uh, each time a shipment is made, both the taxpayer's computer system and system of the tax authority has to carry some previous infrastructure tasks which is mm -hmm. a establishment of the communication and the mostly processing of the XML messages, some notification, etc. before it is start actually processing each invoice received. That means that your system and system of the tax authority before sending receipts must be, of course, connected and some particular requirements before that is mandatory, such as the notification. So um, after the invoice or receipt has been processed, the same operation must be carried out to send a response. So when you send information to the mm -hmm. tax authority, they will send to you back some response. And these informations are sent electronically, as I already mentioned, through usage of the web service and based on the exchange of the XML uh, messages. Uh, some special requirements need to be fulfilled, but let's say these are general uh, rules from this uh, perspective, which has, of course, um, some points regarding fiscalization. Not uh, fiscalization in the full terms, but in some um, partially. Some part, yes, yes, partially. Yes. Thank you, Nicolina, for uh, explaining the whole process to us. I'm sure uh, this means a lot to everyone who is watching us and is interested in this topic. Uh, so as we have came uh, to the end of this episode, I will take the opportunity to invite everyone to visit our portal as there is a new country there, and that is Spain. Um, as you uh, were doing the research for uh, quite some time, uh, lately and uh, have became an expert on it. So we definitely have important information to share with everyone. Yeah. Uh, we will also talk a little bit more about Basque Country, but not today, uh, in the next episode. So uh, to everyone who is looking for more information on this topic, definitely stay tuned and follow us um, next Tuesday. Nicolina, thanks again. And I'm really looking forward to our next episode. You're welcome. Yes, I'm also excited. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.